I'm back with Brian. Um, I just want a little live patient segment to show you what some of the appliances look like. Um, we will have some photos that you can zoom in on. But essentially, the appliance fits over the top and the bottom arch, and it's going to hold your lower jaw slightly forward so that your tongue won't fall back when you're sleeping. I will say, with Brian having been my patient for a long time, I noticed the wear on his teeth um, and on my initial exam. But before I took a lot of the sleep apnea training, I didn't correlate that he was grinding his teeth and shoving his teeth forward at night because he was trying to open his airway. I actually never looked in the back of his throat except to check if there was cancer. So now when I look, I'm looking at that to see how well you might be sleeping and doing a sleep interview. Now Brian has obstructive sleep apnea, not central sleep apnea, which just means essentially his tongue falls back and he gets what are called hypopneas, which are events where he stops breathing for a brief periods of time. It may or may not be followed by a gasp. If you are sleeping with a partner next to you, a lot of times they don't even notice. You still look like you're asleep. You're just going from stage four to stage three sleep. So that essentially means you're going from restorative sleep to just the paralyzed sleep where your eyelids are closed, but you're not actually in deep restorative sleep. So you won't wake up feeling rested. These also, um, help with snoring because by advancing the lower jaw forward, they're going to keep the tongue from falling back. So it accomplishes two things. So Brian, if you just want to show how you put it in, I don't sure. expect you to talk a lot with it in. So in general, what I've noticed is you can even try it at home. It's just by sticking your, your, your lower jaw out a little bit and trying to make a snort sound or a snore sound. It's really hard to do. So that's kind of what I found these things do for me. So that one top one goes ah. in if you want to put it in the bottom one. Thanks. So it looks crazy. You're right. like, what the heck? I would never, ever wear that. But his night guard that I make for my patients is so tiny compared to this. Right. And so far he hasn't had any issue with compliance. It's surprisingly comfortable from everyone I've ever heard. I think I've worn every appliance except I have never worn one of these personally. Um, but you can see that how it's holding his lower jaw slightly forward. And these little wings provide, they're called dorsal fins, provide a sliding platform that allows his lower jaw to slide forward and hold them forward in a comfortable position. As far as comfort, they're actually really, really comfortable. Uh, they fit, you know, they're molded with the, what you use a the laser scan, yeah. to digitally scan the teeth. So they fit my teeth one to one and um, they do look a little big. They're a little bit intimidating, but I haven't had a problem with them. They're extremely comfortable, like I said, and the size really is something that hugs your teeth, so it's not really an issue. Yeah, and you can still close your lips over it. It doesn't look like yeah. you'd be able to, um, but um, so it doesn't create a lot of the dry mouth um, and things that you might actually assume that it would. This is one of several appliances. They're all similar in design that we would use that can help um, as, they're called a mandibular advancement um, devices or mats. And they are covered uh, by your medical insurance and we can submit a pre-authorization for it that helps mitigate some of the costs for it because they're typically not a dentally covered benefit even though dentists are the only ones who can do and make the appliances. So if you'd like to know more, feel free to come on in and talk to me. Um, even on our new patient exam, I'm going to look anyway. I'm going to talk to you about sleep apnea if I see it. But if that's something that's been concerning you, feel free to book a consultation and come in to talk to me more about what we can do to help restore your sleep.